I love the people that say you can't and the people that, that are begging for you to fail. That's what I feed off of. So yeah, if you tell me I, it can't be done, I'm gonna show you you're wrong. Dana White, who is known as an American businessman and sports promoter, and probably most famous for being the current president of the UFC, has snagged some pretty luxurious real estate in Las Vegas. In fact, Dana bought three properties next to each other for a combined total of $6 million before bulldozing them down in 2017 and built them all from scratch. Who has money to just do these things? Why can't I? For just under 1.8 million, Dana White's first house was 7,700 square feet, which he bought in October of 2006. Then he added another 5,500 square feet property for 2.5 4 million following in January. To complete the Dana White House trilogy, Dana bought the last 4,700 square foot house in March for $2 million. I'm guessing this guy has like the wildest parties and the loudest ones because there's no there's no reason for this fam. In addition, the marketing genius listed the ultimate fighter home which put up and coming mixed martial artists in the same house competing in a series of elimination matches to win a six figure contract with UFC for $5 million in 2018. We'll take a look at Dana White's mega mansion and the ultimate fighter home. Ladies and gentlemen, this this is a house tour you don't want to miss, especially if you fight. Like me, I'm playing, I don't fight, I'm sorry. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, so please do not show up at any private residences because it is not safe for anyone. Dana White has had quite the lucrative career being a successful businessman and sports promoter, earning a net worth of $500 million. When UFC sold in 2016, Dana owned 9% of the company. After taxes, Dana's 9% cut from the sale was around $360 million. Even today, Dana's salary is roughly $20 million a year. Before Dana got his big ticket, he relocated full-time to Las Vegas and in 1992 established Dana White Enterprises. It was around this time that he began managing fighters Chuck Liddell and Tito Ortiz. White continued to expand his horizons to the other styles of fighting, including mixed martial arts and Muay Thai styles that would later come to define the UFC. After reuniting with Lorenzo Farida in the mid-90s, Lorenzo quickly saw the profit that could be had and he made a deal to buy the UFC. Lorenzo also invited his older brother Frank to get in on the action. In total, the Farida brothers paid $2 million in 2001 for an 81 percent ownership stake in the UFC. They soon appointed White as president. From here, the UFC turned into an international phenomenon under his leadership. He has been able to increase the popularity of the sport and turn it into a multi-million dollar business. The UFC announced in May 2017 that White would be the host of a show called Dana White's Contender Series. This show is only available through UFC's digital streaming service, UFC Fight Pass. White revealed on March 18, 2019 that he had penned a new seven-year contract with ESPN to remain the UFC president. So needless to say, White has been able to snag some pretty luxurious luxurious real estate. Hey, what's going on guys? It's Marlon Palmer and today we're bringing you another house tour here for you on Famous Entertainment. I noticed 95% of you guys watching right now are not subscribed, so please be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post new videos daily. Now, we've previously reported on the homes of The Rock and Tiger Woods, so if you'd like to, please check out those videos. If you like these videos, please ring that bell for notifications. Follow me on Instagram at thatdoomitfly to chat some more and hit me up in the comment section below with whose house tour we should do next. Let's get into the video. After finding where he wanted in Las Vegas, White bought three properties next to each other for a combined total of $6 million. These three properties acquired throughout the years have formed into one mega mansion and let me tell you, they have no shortage of luxe features. For those that love to game, Dana has his own personalized arcade which is perfect for kicking back and playing racing games like Daytona USA and of course the classic Street Fighter. Who doesn't love Street Fighter, am I right? In addition, there's also table football too so that'll keep him busy and his family amused. Dana is a sucker for Boston sports teams, in fact Dana White's house also has a personalized basketball court outside his mega mansion and the basketball court is personalized with the famous Celtics leprechaun logo in the middle. That is so ugly by the way. That if you're not, if you're a Celtics fan, I'm sorry. Another luxe feature in the White Residence is this outdoor salt water pool surrounded by two gazebos on either side of the pool. The outdoor area is accompanied by comfortable beds, couches, sun loungers, and an outdoor bar for those that fancy a Chardonnay, of course. Afterwards, guests lucky enough to visit can wind down and grace a spot in the jacuzzi. Being a self-proclaimed gym nut that he is, the mansion features its very own state-of-the-art gym. This high-tech gym in his spacious abode is filled with more equipment than your local gym, which is steps away from a cozy yet spacious sauna. Dana has a living space with two enormous couches at the center, enveloped with dress cushions and pristine carpets. The room features a large projector screen, perfect for binging, and famous portraits capturing some of UFC's finest moments. Dana's house is uniquely packed with unconventional things, including AK-47 decorated with dollar bills, larger than life-size images of his fighters, and bullets made from oil, blood, cocaine, gold, diamonds, and religious symbols. That's not weird. 
Probably the most unique possessions are two samurai swords calmly placed on a table in the middle of the room and a fossil he purchased at an auction back in 2009. Perfect for humble bragging? In addition, Dana's home boasts a living space that features its own personal bar decked out with cozy leather furnishings and another massive projector screen. The room features one of many vending machines White has on the property, perfect for the cheat day. Back in 2019, Dana White had listed the Ultimate Fighter Mansion on the market for $5 million. The home which put up and coming mixed martial artists in the same house, competing in a series of elimination matches to win a six-figure contract with the UFC featured 9,500 square feet and boasted nine bedrooms and 12 bathrooms. The lavish abode originally built in 1996 is on property with a little over two acres and he has plenty of space for guests to park. We're willing to bet a few Ferraris and Lamborghinis have made their way there. Double doors open to a two-story spacious circular foyer with soaring Roman columns. The home's previous owner had commissioned a rustic mural on the ceiling above the foyer with recessed lighting to show the mural's elaborate details. Just off the foyer is the open concept kitchen and living room which has large arched windows looking out onto the backyard. It appears the UFC has since renovated the kitchen replacing its black countertops with a lighter stone painting its cabinets and islands taking out a chandelier and replacing drapes with modern shades. Steps away from the beautiful kitchen complete with island perfectly centered are a cluster of large furnishings perfect for team meetings. The UFC had turned the home's formal dining room into a pool hall with a custom UFC branded pool table and large art prints of past UFC's champions. The lavish home features an abundance of master suites that come complete with king size beds, luxe furnishings, and personal bathrooms. In addition, the bathroom features elegant tiling, cozy soaking tub that boasts terrific views, and a large stand and shower, perfect for relaxation. While the home interior is pretty impressive, probably the most glamorous spot of the property is found outdoors. Outside, the home features a walk-in pool, stone, waterfall, gazebo, and kitchen, perfect for relaxation. In addition, the backyard is decked out with palm trees and walkways, give the property a resort-like feel. The mansion is perfectly located a little west of the Las Vegas Strip, and a 20-minute drive from the Welcome to Fabulous Las Vegas sign. All right, so I think I'll bring this house tour to an end here. We got to take a quick look at Dana White's mega mansion and the UFC house. After seeing that fancy little crib he snagged, what did you guys think? Was it everything you would expect out of Dana? Personally, I was a huge fan of that mega mansion in Vegas. Having your own arcade and basketball court, even though it's ugly, I, I, would, I would definitely opt in for that. Out of White's features, which ones were your fave? You guys can go ahead and rate them in the comments down below. I'd love it if you guys follow me on Instagram at that McFly. So we can chat some more, of course, and hit me up in the comment section below with whose house tour we should do next. See you guys next time. Bye.